All right. This tutorial is going to show you how to batch compress your photos and images using um, Adobe Photoshop. I have Photoshop open already, so all I'm going to do is go to File, Script, and then Image Processor. Uh, there's a few steps here. The first one is to select the images that you want to process. There's an option to use any open images that you might have um, in Photoshop already. I'm going to go to the second option to, and select the folder. I have this folder prepared already. Uh, and just for reference, I'll show you how big these files are currently. Um, as you can see here, this one's about 7.7 .7 megabytes, 11.1 .1 megabytes. So high resolution um, and definitely not the um, size of images you want on your website. Um, these will slow your website down. Okay, um, so I'm going to select this source folder, um, which is on my desktop, batch process. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to select the saving location. I've set it to save in the same location. Um, so this will create a folder, a subfolder in the uh, where, your for, where your batch processing, your source folder is. Uh, you could also select a folder and save it to another location. Um, then you have the file type, which is the next step. So I have it set to save as JPEG and resize to fit. Now currently I'm saving most of my files to about 1280 um, by 720. Um, and you can convert to sRGB, which I'll do here. Uh, you can save it as a PSD and as a TIFF. Um, this is all uh, depending on your requirements, but for web, um, generally you're gonna wanna go with JPEG to start. Um, then the preferences, um, this isn't really um, necessary right now. We can cover this in a later tutorial. Um, right, these are all the settings that you really need to worry about right now. And so I'll just click run and you'll see Photoshop will work through each image and it's done. Uh, if you go to the folder, you'll see that there is now a subfolder um, and you'll see that now the photos are a lot smaller. So this one is about 465 kilobytes, 366, 339, 332 and so on. Um, yeah, and that's how you batch compress your photos with Photoshop.